Well, hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro, and in this quick tip, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your publisher document when it's going to be bound. So this can be if you're going to coil bind, comb bind, maybe you're using uh, a circuit punch for like a happy planner, that type of bind. Um, or even if you're just doing a three ring binder, putting a document in there, um, kind of how to set up the margins on that document. This question actually came in uh, just the other day was like how much margin do you need? So as a rule of thumb, this is really simple, but let's just go ahead and start out with a blank page. Um, as a rule of thumb, on the bind edge, you want an extra quarter inch of uh, an extra quarter inch of space so that you know when you put your bind in here and the reason is is like uh, when you drop your binder in here the the punch goes in a little ways so the content on your page if you were to stick it in here right now with even margins all the way around the page what will happen is is your content will no longer look centered on the page because the binder kinda comes into about here um, so as a rule of thumb, what you want to do is add an extra quarter of an inch. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. If you are doing a single page, uh, a, a document that's single pages, like just fronts only, uh, you can easily just go in and modify this margin. So we'll go over to the page design tab. We'll say margins and custom. And then on the bind edge, which would be your left hand side, uh, we could do 0.75 so it's an extra quarter of an inch so see it just moves that in a little ways now when you put the binder in it's gonna come somewhere over in here and all your content is now going to look centered on the page but what if you wanted to ha have spreads so in other words um, we'll insert a page here and then save you a two page spread let's insert another blank so now we have a two page spread so the bind edge is actually here in the center um, so for something like this, we'll need to go back into the margins, put this back down to uh, 0.5. And what you would need to do for the spreads is you actually need to go in and modify the master page. So on a spread, you can go to master page, edit master page, and we can go ahead and, and insert this and tell it that it's a two page master. So our B is going to be the two-page master. Uh, you can just grab a hold of either side. It doesn't matter, uh, the left side page or the right side page, just right here. This is called the gutter. And you can grab a hold of this, and you can pull it in uh, an extra quarter of an inch, and then let go. And notice that it copies it over on the other side. And now if we close that master page, we'll go back over here uh, actually we have to apply the master page first it's not applied so we'll tell this to, to do a, a B master page and now we get that extra margin here in the gutter um, I believe let's see what happens if we try to uh, yeah it does work so if you click on the first page and you give it the B master it automatically moves that in and as we add more pages more spreads we're gonna see that it uh, well actually it's automatically not heading the B master page so you can go in and just tell it to give it the B master page now if you were to set up a document that um, you're setting up from scratch let's actually go ahead and do that we'll say file new and we'll go ahead and do this um, you can actually go ahead and go into the master page um, and we'll say edit master pages and we'll actually tell it that we want to do a two page spread and we're going to get rid of the A master so that this becomes the only master page we'll go ahead and say close now it should automatically and it did it automatically applies the only master page that you have um, to every new page that you add inside of your document <clears throat> 
So that's a really simple way to quickly set up your document so that you actually have the correct margins. So now we can throw a binder in here. Uh, as you can see, this would be a back side of a page. So this would be a front, that would be a back. We could easily go in here and tell it to view a two page spread. And now we actually see it with the spread. Makes sense? Um, so yeah, that's it for this quick tip today. If you're enjoying the videos on my channel, please consider subscribing and I will see you all actually later today with a feature or full on feature tutorial. Not quite sure what I'm going to be doing yet. So um, if you're seeing this early in the morning on February 22nd, 2018, feel free to drop me a comment on what you would like to know about Microsoft Publisher and I will do my best to add that to a later tutorial. Take care guys, we'll see you next time, bye bye.